Hello everybody and welcome to another edition of Tim We Presents and today we have a special colored puzzle for you. Yeah, I don't know why it's special, but that's the title of the puzzle we're looking at today in the Catane Puzzle Plethora. It's right here. I have not looked at this puzzle at all yet. As before, we have our answer code here, which I will use with my answer checker. The answer, of course, is not chicken. It's always incorrect. Uh, one of those days, chicken will be the answer and we'll be... <gasps> but maybe not. All right, so let's dive straight in and take a look at this special colored puzzle for the first time. <gasps> wow, okay. The font up here has changed. This is all in Korean New, and the font for the title has also changed. That's very cool. All right, let's read this. It's hard working at the... <coughs> yeah, I know how to pronounce that. But, <laughs> but since when did I have to do this much math here? Okay, begin examination of... <coughs> it's kind of reminding me a little of SCP, although in SCP they always use a, you know, a solid black bar. Uh, yeah, anyway, so it's probably not that. This looks like a chat log. Log. Chat log. All right, let's take a look. Subject has entered the contain... That is absolutely an uh, SCP reference. All right, let's see what this is. Uh, subject has removed the covering from the entity. Uh, log notes from samples taken from entity via drone. Entity appears to be covered in a gray oil-based paint. Alright, let's take a look at the SCP with that specific number. Ah, look at this. It says here is a wavelength of color th thought to be located at a specific... Oh, that is... Hmm. Ah, here, this is where it says that. CIE lab color space spectrum grid. Let's take a look at... Uh, let's take a look at this footnote. Um... The most modern three-dimensional representation of the visible light spectrum. This refers to the LAB coordinates on the real number grid with L representing light level and A and B representing red, green and yellow, blue levels respectively. Right, I don't know how this works. I don't even know if this is a real thing or whether they invented that for the SCP. No, that does seem to be a real thing. CIE lab is a color space specified um, yeah, okay, maybe I should read more of the puzzle first before I get distracted by this. Um, covered in a gray oil-based paint. Hmm. What do you see? Subject appears to be nervous, sweating and pacing back and forth. What the hell is this? What do you see? It's me. What are you doing to me? We're just running some tests. If you want to leave, you can. You know, I want to see if this is a... Uh, hmm. Okay, so there is a, a similar log in the, uh, in the SCP article, but not the exact same one. All right. Okay, then can you describe the painting for me? It's me. I'm laying down... Laying down? It should be lying down, surely, in what looks like a field, and oh god, there are animals around me. All right, what else is there? No response. What else do you see? Can you hear me? It's not responding. I'm sorry. And there is an extra space before the colon here. Um. Uh, the subject has collapsed to the floor. Personnel has entered the the room, and subject has been declared dead. Okay, so um, there are too many mistakes here for it to be mistakes. So I'm going to write them down. So first of all, um, it was the repeated the the. Um, right, that's one of them. Then we have the extra space before colon. And um, laying instead of lying. So if you are a puzzle author and these three things are all not intentional, hopefully the fact that I'm uh, you know, getting distracted by this will 
uh, indicate to you that you really need to check your puzzles for these kinds of mistakes so that they don't, they don't lead people astray. Um, begin examination of that subject. All right, let's take a look if that is also an SCP number. Um, an ornate key. Uh, you know what? I'm, I'm going to write down what these are. I, I'm starting to think that this is probably not relevant. Uh, so this is a wavelength of light. This is an ornate key. Um, uh, has put on the entity. Um, entity appears to be a white straitjacket. Personnel has rem okay. Um, gray all based paint. Let's let's write down what the puzzle says these things are. Uh, white straitjacket. Is that how you spell straitjacket? I thought it was with a G H. Aha. So this time I was wrong. It, it, it's quite interesting. I wonder why it's called that. But again, I'm getting distracted. Um, entity, to, right. A personnel has removed the entity from the subject. She seems a little disoriented. It was weird. It felt like a dream. What were you doing? I was flying. I was floating around the room. And I could see myself on the floor. What else could you do? Were you able to hear, touch, smell? I was able to hear. It sounded like sounded like you through the intercom. That was me. Were you able to respond to anything I asked? Yes. Strange. None of, none of us heard anything. I'm starting to feel a little dizzy. Can I get some water? Whew, Jesus. This is extremely interesting, but also extremely like not clear what's going on. And now we have that kind of number. Uh, oh, this was this was pre prefixed by an A. This was prefixed by an M. I should probably write that down, and I should probably also write down the actual numbers. So um, here's what I'll do. Right, this is an SCP, and the puzzle talks about this. So let's put the puzzle thing first because it's more likely for the puzzle to be. Uh, relevant than the SCP because that, that could be uh, something else. Alright, so this uh, ah yeah, SCP-005. Interesting, it has one fewer zeros. That may be because when SCP started they didn't expect to get over a thousand of them. Okay, um, right, uh, next one. So this is the next subject. Um, entity has chimed. Subject has instantly begun to age to a p Wow! Uh, subject has now aged his late 60s. Hair has gone totally gray and movement has slowed. Um, subject has reached somewhere around the age of 80. Subject has lost the ability to walk. Personnel has brought in a wheelchair. Past the age of 100 has died due to simultaneous failure of many organs. Personnel has entered the room to remove the subject's body. The subject's body has decomposed very rapidly, leaving only the bones and dust. Okay, so I'm just going to say rapid aging. And let's see what SCP has to say about this. Um, ooh, I see. That one is not an actual SCP number. All right, that makes it more likely that SCP is not even relevant. All right, let's keep going. Um, you know, maybe, yeah, I wonder if, ooh. So I've, I've had this thought earlier that each of these could be a cryptogram, but I'm now noticing that the first three characters are always the same. So maybe those are supposed to stand for S, C, and P, respectively, in that order. And then these are something else. Well, let's, let's continue reading the rest first of all. Um, subject M0029, that's the fourth element, has entered the containment chamber. Contain uh, chamber is a something something cell with concrete walls 50 centimeters thick located at site something. Can you describe the entity for me? It's. Sorry, it looks like there's stuff all over the walls, photos and writing. 
What does the entity look like? There's something on the walls, photos of something. You said that already. What do you see in the room with you? Get him out of there. Please grab one of the photos you saw before you exit the chamber. What photos? How do you feel? What just happened? Where am I? Subject and all personnel within the site have no memory of any of the events that occurred on the day this log was recorded. Aha, but the log still exists. Okay. Um, so I wonder if this is the exact same name as the others. Yeah, it seems that this doctor name is always the same. I was hoping that the number of letters here would be six so that it, would sp it could spell out doctor, doctor. But it doesn't. It's uh, eight letters. Or rather, eight characters. I shouldn't really call them letters. Um, right. Uh, next one. Um, oh, there's something here at the bottom. There is a uh, set of numbers. Oh, wow. I will need to figure out what to do with that. Subject S that. Okay, so now I suddenly notice that all of these A, M, and S are the first letter of a um, arithmetic operation, addition, multiplication, and subtraction. Let me just make sure that there are indeed five. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, there are five examination logs. Well, let's take a look at the fifth one. Subject has entered the entity. Entity has which written on its door. It is said there is a body that is not yet decomposed under the floor of the entity. Ooh. Sits on the wooden bench, has been staring at the skeleton. Um, who's there? Subject has been looking around frantically, has been constantly itching arms, legs and neck. Itching has gotten worse. Skin has been peeling off. Uh, get me out, get me out of here. Okay. So it just occurred to me that this one where um, uh, they forgot everything, one way of describing that is amnesia. And now I'm suddenly wondering if amnesia occurs in any of the Catane module. Aha, there is even a module by that very name. Every time the bomb seconds display shows zero. Oh, that one, I remember this. Okay, a tritone will play to signify the change in color. Okay. So all it is just is just remember the colors. Hmm. All right, we'll we'll find out if that's relevant later, I guess. I'm I'm going to keep in mind that this is an actual Catane module. Uh gray oil oil-based paint could be referring to the um okay, I don't think SCPs are relevant anymore. Uh this could be referring to the painting module. But straight jacket? What does a white straight jacket refer to? Maybe Doctor Doctor, but I mean that would be a white lab coat, not not a white straight jacket. Rapid aging. Okay. Uh, right. I no longer think that these are relevant because I didn't find more in the remaining pieces. So um, let me write down each of these titles with these uh, weird Unicode characters. And when I say weird, I mean they are box drawing characters. Um, so this is what we have. Oh, there is an at sign in here. Um, oh, and there are more. You know what? Maybe I should uh, copy and paste the entire text um, and then use search and replace. I'm going to reduce the font size here. I, s I hope you can still read it. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hmm. Okay. So, um, I think that this is most likely referring to SCP uh, because you know that the, the uh, reference seems quite clear. So I'm going to replace all instances of this character with S, all instances of this character with uh, with C and we notice that the doctor name contains a C, contains that same character, so that would be a C then under that hypothesis. And then obviously these I expect to be digits. Um, what else can I decode? Hmm. I 
And what do these numbers here mean? All right, so there are five rows in this, so it stands to uh, suggest that because there are five examination logs and five rows in this this image, that each row pertains to each. Ah, so maybe these are indexes into whatever name I get out of the, uh, each log. But then what does the S mean? I don't know. Stop? Like maybe we get a seven letter word stop and then a ten letter word stop. I don't know. Whew. Um. So I have an idea. Okay, so we have this. Um, this is uh, covered in a gray oil-based paint. Why don't I uh, look at the SCP wiki um, like this and search for that? Aha. Okay. So I think that this is SCP one zero seven four. So I'm going to replace all of these with a one. Uh, these with a zero, these with a seven, and these with a four. And now let's see if we can uh, deduce any of the others. Uh, unfortunately, none of these was a digit, apparently. Um, I'm so drawn to this, like, am I supposed to, like, know what the doctor's name is? Hmm. If this is a proper English word, I might be able to... Okay, I have an idea. I'm going to uh, take a look at this word list here and see if I can find something that matches this pattern. So we're trying to find something that has any character and then any character that is re repeated here and then any character that is repeated here, any character, any character, and a Charlie. Right, let's see. That could be... Um, oh, I see. Each of the... Ah, I need to make sure that the other letters do not repeat. So this needs to be different from these. Oh, how do I do this? I am going to do this. Um, okay, so if I capture this, then obviously these become 2 and 3. And then I want this to not be followed by 1. I want this to not be followed by 1 or 2. And I want this to not be followed by 1, 2 or 3. Now, technically I should do the same again to capture this so that those two are also different. But um, I'm, I'm going to be lazy now and uh, not do that. And this cannot be a C either. So let's say there's not a C. And then let's hope that this finds something. Uh, so yeah, this, this did exactly what I suspected, which is that, ah, OK, no, I can fix that. I can say that the others also can't be the letter C. OK, let's see. Um, OK, vesicles, mention, redact <laughs> redacted. That's very likely it. OK, I'm going to go with redacted. That just seems like such a perfect fit. So all of these are Romeos. Uh, all of these are echoes. Now, unfortunately, semicolons are likely to come up in the middle of text. But I, I hope that I will be able to deal with that. This is a delta. Uh, this would be an alpha. And then this would be a tango. OK. Um, now, let's go back to this. So we've identified one of the SCPs. Let's take a look at the second one. I want to use this page because it's, it's just visually nicer to look at. Um, Ah, OK, white straightjack. That should be easy to find if, if that exists on SCP. That would be 43, yeah, white canvas straightjacket, 438. Uh, this one here. Aha, it, it, we already know that it starts with a 4, so that seems very promising. Um, OK, let's, so let's write these down. The first one is actually SCP um, 1074. 
then the next one is 438. Um, let's see. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to Google for rapid aging, even though that exact phrase doesn't come up in the... Aha! Um, okay, so there are multiple hits, but... Um, oh, we expect this to end in a digit 4 and have two of the same digit. So, ah, 224. Nope. Nope, that doesn't say aging. Um... Okay, that is, that is a little a little bit of a bummer. I was hoping that this would match, because, I mean, rapid aging is mentioned. Oh, it says ascended, so that sounds more like a staircase. And then here, we talk about r symptoms of rapid aging. It says over the course of four hours. Hmm. Yeah, but that doesn't fit the number. All right, let's, let's keep... Ooh, here we have a number that starts with zero. I don't know if that is... Um, okay, well, let's take a look at this. Can you describe the entity? It's. It looks like there's stuff all over... Oh, photo, photos and writings on the wall. Okay. Uh, let's just Google for photos wall. Um, all right, we're looking for something that starts with a zero and has two of the same digit. Yeah, unfortunately, none of these seem to match that. Uh, but there should be only nine such SCPs, so I can... Uh, just check them all. So let's start with um, uh, 1 1, I guess. That page doesn't exist. All right, SCP 011. Does that exist? Aha, okay. So I just got the URL wrong. Okay. Um, okay, it's a statue. All right. Let's keep going. Is a vault door? No, wait, here is a morgue in the basement of some hospital in Great Britain. Okay, a morgue. I don't know if that's relevant yet. Uh, a field of complex mathematical symbols that is not, uh, does not fit the description. A howitzer, secretly manufactured in the late stages of the Second World War. It also doesn't fit the description. Uh, Self-keeping secret or anti-meme. Ooh. Um, doesn't sound relevant, but sounds interesting. Uh, an amorphous mass of braided yarn. Um, no, we're looking for... Uh, let's see. Um, I see. It's the, the, I, for some reason, I thought the chamber was the SCP, but uh, it isn't. The doctor redacted keeps... Uh, asking the person to describe the entity, but they describe the room instead. All right, let's let's keep going here. We only have three more to go. Um, the top half of a human skull. Nope. Uh, a humanoid with reptilian features. Um, wait. Uh, yeah, no, I don't think it's that. Um, aha, a painting. Okay, and it also mentions centimeters, and this one here mentions the dimensions of the cell. Um, ah. Um, all right, let's let's go with that. Let's assume that this is ninety nine. Um, okay, so if it is ninety nine, then I should be able to figure this one out because that w that also has two of the same digits. Uh, let's see. Oh, okay, which. Let's actually just uh, Google for the word which. Like that. Um, and uh, door. Aha! The exterior of the door is marked with the word which written in charcoal, and that's 4595, which means that this is definitely a 5. Um, in which case, this would be SCP-055. So let's just see what that was. Uh, yeah, okay, that is the one where I thought that it might be that. Um, okay, let's see. Ah, does this mention paintings? No, it doesn't. But anyway, so... Um, uh, where, where were we? Which one? I don't need that anymore. Um... 
Okay, so we had this one and then we have SCP something something four. And then we have uh, 055, which I'm relatively confident about. And then the other one I found earlier was uh, 4595. Yep, 4595. Uh, so that one here is a 9. Subject has arrived at Asper. Ooh. Oh, let's see if we can figure that one out with uh, Neutromatic. A A D A A A. This looks like it might be the name of a, uh, a U.S. state. Let's figure out what's going on. Yeah, <laughs> I I keep doing that wrong. This is what I want. Ah, okay, it's not what I thought. So I was thinking Idaho, but obviously it's not it. Uh, in India, Indiana. Nope. Um, did I get the right number of? Uh, come on. Um, aha, uh, there are three letters there, so I, I did get that wrong. It is Indiana, although I'm a bit surprised that there is an A here, and this A, wait, w is that given in the original puzzle? Let me see that, uh, uh, this one. Okay, so could it be that Oh, I see, because this was part of the redacted. That is an A. Um, well, pff, I don't know, but this is clearly Indiana. So let's just replace this. And this is extremely likely to be a J. still weird like why would they have why would the word Indiana be written with two different A's it's possible that this is a mistake and that was supposed to be this symbol because they do look different they do look similar is what I meant um, okay so anyway uh, so we have all of the SCP numbers let's take a look at these numbers and see if if we can match anything up no uh, these are all numbers from 3 to 6. Hmm. Okay, we can get rid of this. Okay, so let's see what other um, hidden symbols... Aha! 1, 2, 3. Foundation. Ah, this has got to be the word foundation. Okay. Are there any other weird Unicode characters in any of this? Uh, let's quickly scroll through this. Oh yeah, we haven't figured this one out yet. Um, okay, so figuring out foundation or any of the other things didn't help me with this one. Um, so I guess what I'll do now is I will look through the SCPs that fit that um, pattern. Let's see. Um, so we're looking for something with rapid aging. Um, okay. Oh, juveniles. Um, It talks about juveniles, but not about their aging, so I, I don't think it's this one. And also there are only nine others to look through, so let, let's try and uh, go a bit quicker. Aha! This mentions age. Um, um, and this, this is like kind of slightly relevant, I don't know. Um, item SCP-224 is a wooden grandfather clock. I don't think that is relevant. Oh, I think I know what's going on. I think I know how to solve this puzzle now. Or at least I think I do, but um, I'll, I'll try and finish this first. Um, this is a cloud of superheated plasma. Um, 
Okay, it's a structure located on the Isle of Wight. Also doesn't mention aging. A human corpse is visible. Um, let's see. The word agent is m uh, mentioned a lot, but not age. Yeah, you know what? Maybe I should uh, specifically look for the word age. Um, yeah, this one doesn't mention it in, in the bulk of the text. Um, okay. All right. Shaving mirror. All right. Also, no mention of age. Um, okay, this does mention age, but yeah, no. It seems to me that uh, w wasn't there one. Ah, I should I should have kept track of the one that mentioned age a lot. Uh, which one was it? This one. Um, aha. Yep, okay, this is talking about rapid aging. Uh, so I'm going to say this is actually a 2. Okay, so now on to my theory. I really, really hope it's this, but... Um, okay, so what I think I need to do is I need to replace these digits back with the Unicode characters that they originally uh, represented. So I'm going to use a diff here to uh, compare the original puzzle to... Uh, my modification and then that will allow me to figure out what the Unicode characters for each um, uh, letter and number was. Alright, so we have, um, let's see, let's uh, do this, 4354, 354S, 3643233534S, and then I don't know what the last one is. Alright, let's look for the 4. The 4 is that. So we replay it. Oh, it's already looking unlikely. I was hoping that this would form letters, you know? All right, let's see what the three is. Um, okay, it looks like the three has never actually been found. So I cannot actually replace that. Okay, so that's not it. Okay. What else can we do? Wow, I'm making progress here, but I, it's still very mysterious as to what I really need to do with this. Um, did we figure out what this one was? I, I forgot. Um, 7233. Yeah, it's 224. Okay, so how do these numbers and the things relate to the numbers that are given here? I don't know. Um, I mean, if this is indexing, then I need something to index into. And I don't know what that could be, because all of these things are referred to by numbers. Okay, maybe I should um, create a quote-unquote dictionary of the uh, replacements that I made. So let's, let's run this again. Whoops, I did not mean to erase that. So let's put this here, uh, this here. Get me the differences. That's okay. Um, so I'm going to write down all of the like A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. And then all of the digits. There we go. And do this. Right, so we will end up with 36 entries in our little dictionary. Um, so the foundation consists of this. So we have F, uh, O, U, N, D, A, T, I, O does seem to match and N does seem to match. Okay, so foundation seems to work. And then uh, this here is SCP. So that would be an S. That would be a C and that would be a P. And I should probably save this file. So uh, let me just quickly save this as uh, 
special color puzzle too, I guess. Um, now I want my spaces back. There you go. Um, so these here are one zero seven four. One zero seven four. It just occurred to me that when we get to the Indiana part, we're gonna have two different characters for the alpha. So R E uh, D seems to match very good. Um, A seems to match. Uh, C seems to match. T seems to match. E seems to match. D. Okay, so that's redacted. Um, then this is four three eight. Um, so three. Whoops. Three would be that one, and eight would be that one. Then we have. I'm I'm going to have to assume that this is 224 although I'm not entirely certain whoops I erased the wrong one that's a 2 um this is 055 five. so 0 we already have 5 would be that one and this is a 1 and a 9 okay we do have the 1 oh <laughs> sorry it's an at sign so there we go um and then we have 4595 four, five, yeah, we already have those. And then finally we have Jasper, Indiana. So we have, whoops, J, A, S, P, E, R. So all of these should match and they seem to. And then we have Indiana. So let's see, E, D, E. So this is the alternative A, N, A. Um, so it just occurred to me that because of these differences in the A, I'm quickly going to check if an errata has been published in the meantime. Nope, it has not. Let's think about what else we can do. We've got all of the digits, so we can, oh, except 6, which does occur here. There is one six here. Um, hmm. Why did I abandon my idea of um, replacing these? Um, so I, th I think I'm going to try that again. So I'm, I'm going to try this one more time. Four, three, five, four, three, five, four, S. Three six four three two three three five three four S. Let's replace all of the fours with that. Um, sorry, four with that. All of the threes with that. All of the fives with that. Um, all of the yes, yeah, the six we don't know, and then the S with that. Okay. Oh, and there is a two. Okay. Yeah, that doesn't look like anything. Hmm. You know, I'm briefly thinking this looks a bit like a plumbing puzzle. But I don't think it would have both single lines and double lines. And also this wouldn't make sense. And also we wouldn't know what the six is. So I really don't think it's that. Okay. So let's let's think about this a little more. Um, so we we've got a set of SCPs. Maybe now that I know what they're talking about, maybe I should read the entire text a little more attentively. Um, so let's let's do that. Um, so the reason I don't want to do a new line here is so that it still matches the original, so I can still do the diff uh, reliably. Let's see, it's hard working at the foundation, but since when did I have to do this much? M oh, I totally forgot about that. We have these. Ah, okay, so why don't we add this number to the SCP number and we get 4167. 4167, yep, that looks right. And then we multiply this by 5, we get uh, that hopefully. Um, then we add these two, 
7233 plus 224 is that, I believe. 224, yeah, that looks right. Uh, this one is multiply again, so we multiply. Let's first multiply by 11 and then multiply by 5. So if I multiply this by 11, then I need to do this and then add 9, so that, and now multiply by 5. Uh, so the 3 would give me 1, 5, the 1 gives me a 5, and then this gives me a 45, so I get uh, 95. So I think this is the number that I get, and then finally, uh, this time we want to subtract. Now unfortunately subtraction is not commutative, but because this is the larger number, I'm going to subtract the other one from that. So 4595 minus the 1 minus the 8 gives us uh, 2, 7 here, and then minus the 9 and the 5. That is an awfully round number. So now how does that relate to this? Let's see. Aha, the gray ones are all the zeros. Um, so here we have 4, 1, 6, 7, and then we have 4, 3, 5, 4. Um, I don't know. I mean, I, obviously I could do like, you know, addition or bitwise x or, or whatever, but I, I think I need something a little more uh, definitive. Otherwise, I would just be uh, guessing at random. Okay, let's... Um, whew, uh, all right, let's, let's read some more. Okay, um, subject has removed the covering that sounds like subtraction, but the subject name has this alpha, so it's more likely to be addition. Log notes from samples taken from entity via drone. Entity appears to be covered in a gray oil-based paint. Um, Hmm. Has been put on, has put on the entity. Remove the entity. What was it like? It was. It felt like a dream. I was flying. I was floating around the room, and I could see myself on the floor. Okay, we've received response from the author, and it turns out that um, this is indeed a mistake. And this is the one that was intended. Okay, so it, it's clearly about math, and I clearly need to do these, these operations. I get these four-digit numbers, and I notice that the zeros match up with the S's, or the rather the, the dark balls. Wait a second, do these look like balls in encryption bingo, maybe? Um, yeah, of course, they, yeah, this won't uh, tell me. I should look at the uh, the workshop item. We'll have a screenshot of the module. Yes, that looks very much like it, but not quite. No, actually, it doesn't really look like it. Um, maybe it looks like the white ball in snooker, but no, I, I don't think that this would be... But why would it be balls at all? Why would these be spheres? Sphere, the sphere. Um, could that be it? Because the sphere has rules for gray and white, but that refers to edge work, and we don't have any edge work in here, so I don't think it's that either. So I'm going to put in a break here because I'm kind of uh, stuck, and also the author has asked me to uh, uh, fix the puzzle on the website, so I'm going to quickly go do that, and I will be back later. And here we are back. I told you that I would resume as soon as I have another idea. There was one little idea that I had at one point, which is that this here might be referring to painting the module. And that got me thinking that maybe every um, section refers to a Catane module. And in particular, the last section contains the word which and talks about itching. That is very likely a reference to seashells. So if I take the name of the module seashells and I use these numbers to index into that, I get an E and an L, and then of course zero, 0 is nothing. But I also want to see what, what I get if I use those numbers that are uh, presented in the puzzle. 
uh, that would give me 3, 4, so that would be AS. And then nothing, nothing. Let's uh, see if we can find out what the other... Let, uh, let's see if this is in fact painting, or if I can find a reference to another module here. Um, it talks about nervous sweating and pacing. Not quite sure how that is relevant to painting. Uh, if it were painting, then I would expect it to maybe reference color blindness, such as uh, protonomaly or something. Um, can you describe the painting? It's me. I'm lying down in what looks like a field. There are animals around me. Whew. Um, well, it keeps mentioning the word painting, so for, for now let's, let's actually go with painting and see what that gives us if we index into that. NP, that is not looking promising. IN, and then using the numbers in the puzzle, 4354, uh, 4354. That is also not looking promising. That's annoying. I was pretty confident that this was going to be something. Let's see, um, what could this be referring to? Felt like a dream. I was floating around the room. I could see myself on the floor. Uh, were you able to hear, touch, smell? Uh, let's see, hear, touch, smell. Not small, smell. Let's see if there is a Katain manual that mentions those. There is not. Um, um, dizzy? Huh. Unlikely, but uh, let's see. Nope. Maybe dizziness, but no. Oh, oh Dr. Doctor? Um, because, ah, because Dr. Doctor has all sorts of things like loss of smell and disappearance of the ears and dizziness. So maybe this is Dr. Doctor. Um, but then why flying and floating around the room and seeing myself on the floor? That doesn't seem to refer to this, but for now this is the best guess I have, Dr. Doctor. Um, so two... One, again, doesn't look promising. Nine, two, four, six, ah, that's only eight letters. So if the nine is supposed to be an index, then that can't be Dr. Doctor. Uh, and if we do three, five, four, three, five, four. This reminds me a little bit of nicotine, but there's an extra D in it. All right, this rapid aging thing, let's see. Lost the ability to walk. Um, something has chimed. Let's see if the word chime occurs in any Katane manual. Old fogey. Okay. Um, hair has gone grey, movement has slowed. Lost the ability to walk. Wheelchair. Yeah, the rest of this doesn't... See oh, because old. Old fogey. Um, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with old fogey. Um, yeah, the chime, yeah, I don't know, it's a bit far-fetched that the chime would be a hint and none of the other things like, you know, bones and dust, that, that doesn't refer to old fogey. Uh, but it's, again, it's the best guess I have, so let's try that. Old fogey has eight letters, so this is E, F, O, E. That also doesn't look promising. Um, all right, let's let's use the numbers here. These numbers are three six four three three six four three. Yeah, it's not looking promising at all. All right, then this last one here. Um, what was the site number? It was nineteen. Um, Photos and writing on the wall that might... Uh, I, w I was thinking sticky notes, but that's not photos. Um. Oh, wait a second. This is the one where the guy is totally forgetful. 
Uh, yeah, no memory. So I'm going to assume that's amnesia, uh, which I actually wrote down here. Haha. <laughs> so let's go 1, 5. Oh, two, four, yeah, it doesn't have a 9. 2, 4, 6, 7. Um, that's also not working. And 2, 3, 3, 5. Yeah, that's definitely not it. Well, that was an, an idea I had, and that doesn't seem to have worked out. I mean, maybe the references to the modules are still correct, but I, th I just don't know what to do with the numbers. Um, let me see if maybe one of these numbers, or all of these numbers, occur in a... Nope, it does not. Let's see. Um, yeah, that's, that's just one of the uh, good sheets. Yeah, no, okay, so that, that one hit was a coincidence. Okay, so I am once again stuck. And um, with that, I'm going to put in another break and come back to this when I have another idea. And here we are again with another idea. I will, uh, so full disclosure, the idea that I have uh, re received now is not mine. I have actually asked someone who has already solved this puzzle for a hint. It's not much of a hint though. The hint is that uh, the obvious reference to color math, because we have colored in the title and math in the flavor text, which by the way I should have mentioned that I realized this reference, but I assumed that as soon as we did the uh, um, arithmetic operations here, I assumed that we were done with the reference to color math. But the hint is that we are not done with it. So in order to actually uh, um, so in order to uh, make progress some more, I'm actually going to uh, uh, use a spreadsheet now. So we have these numbers from the uh, puzzle. These are the SCP numbers that we've deduced from the descriptions. Uh, these are the results from the calculations, um, which at this point I think I might want to verify. All right, so I'm, I'm just going to insert the uh, letters here. And then I'm going to say, well, this is that plus that. Uh, this is that times that. This is that plus that. This is that times that. And this is that. No, it's uh, this minus that. OK, so these numbers all seem to be correct. Um, I think I want to in insert another row here and say that this is the agent. This is the SCP. Uh, this is the result. And obviously, we've. Uh, we don't need a duplicate of that. So, oh yeah, and then the, 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 the module references are referenced. So painting, and by the way, while I was gone, I thought of another module that deals with a painting, and that is art appreciation. So if we don't get anywhere with painting, I'm going to try that. But let's try this first. Old fogey, uh, amnesia, and seashells. OK. Um, so the idea that I had, oh yeah, I should probably also write down the numbers given in the puzzle, which are 4354, 354. I'm going to ignore the S for now, um, because I have a suspicion that it just means stop and just, just use only these digits, like that. And um, right, actually, uh, yeah, no, I think this is fine. Okay, so now I'm going to apply these um, operations again on the result and the, uh, the the given. So if we get this plus this, then we take uh, multiply, so that times that. Now in the color math module, we take everything modular one uh, ten thousand, so we're still left with four digits. So this is uh, that plus that. Did I multiply the right ones here? Yes, I did. Uh, this would be that times, whoa. OK, you know what, I'm just going to copy that because it has the modulo in it. And then this is, of course, that minus that. Um, well, actually, I'm not sure if I should, because the, the digits are left aligned. So maybe I should, maybe I should treat this as a 3,400. But then I get a negative number. Um, I suppose I can subtract them the other way around. I can go uh, that minus that. 
um, but I, I'm still left with zero. So index using these digits to index is still right. And this one here would give me o o o. And no matter what module this is, like even if this is wrong and it should be a different module, I would still get three of the same letter. So that idea also doesn't work. Well, that is a bit of a shame. So once again, I'm going to uh, pause the recording and come back to this when I have another idea. And we are back again with the puzzle, special colored puzzle from the Catane Plethora. Okay, so I have now solved this puzzle using hints from another uh, participant who has also solved it. And I'm going to be quite honest, I feel that the next step is very much under clued. So here is the notes that I had so far. The next thing that I tried was, um, you know, I transferred this to a, a spreadsheet and I tried to add or subtract according to the operation these numbers. But it turns out that what I'm actually supposed to do is go back to the color math module because, uh, you know, color and math is uh, reference. But I assumed that I was done with color math because the uh, operations were already used to give us the results. Um, what we were apparently supposed to do is find the actual colors that these numbers would uh, convert to when entering the answer into the color math module. And then that would give us these colors here. And then we were supposed to use the given numbers, which uh, I'm going to use here, uh, to index into these. And when we do that, we get the message pennant at cardinal. And I was quite uh, confused about that myself. A pennant is a type of flag, but it's a uh, pointy one. So at first I thought maritime flag because that one does use uh, bearings, which are cardinal directions. Uh, but no, it turns out the answer is semaphore uh, because apparently, like, the the positions of the semaphores are uh, referred to by Catane experts as north, south, west, east in general, which is, um, you know, it's it's not, it's, it's just a Catane convention. It's not really the semaphores that point north. You know, the semaphore actually points up. Um, so uh, that that is my opinion on the puzzle. Uh, I noticed that the names of the modules that we interpreted out of these paragraphs, especially the which itch, seem to be a very clear uh, reference to seashells and it turned out that was that was nothing like none of this mattered um, and also the uh, encrypted pieces like here, for example the name of the doctor being redacted and the name of this uh, place name in Indiana Jasper Indiana uh, they also didn't really matter all that much redacted is just another way of hinting at SCP if you didn't already get the abbreviation of the um, puzzle name and the Jas Jasper Indiana uh, is mentioned in the SCP that talks about a door with the word witch written on it. Uh, but you know, another idea that I had was that Jasper might uh, refer to raiding temples, which has, excuse me, Indiana has a um, an explorer named uh, raiding temples has an explorer named Indiana. And Jasper uh, might also refer to a, a module because Jasper, as I found out here, is mentioned in Westeros. Uh, so these are all red herrings, and um, uh, I, I do not feel bad about not having solved it. And I think that's a real shame because this puzzle looks absolutely awesome, and I'm sure a lot of work went into it, including writing all of these messages. But there you go, this is the special colored puzzle solved, and I thank you all for watching, and I hope that you enjoyed this video more than I enjoyed the puzzle, and uh, I will see you again next time with another Catane Plethora puzzle.